In this video, we will review best practices in collecting patient samples for varicites of firma using ultrasound-guided fine needle aspiration. We will show you how to prepare for the FNE, perform the procedure in different scenarios, indicate how to avoid common errors, and finally, review some key tips to a successful biopsy. Please note that to perform the FNA safely and accurately, you should be trained in ultrasound anatomy of the thyroid and be thoroughly familiar with the FNA procedure. Your guide will be Dr. Nug Vora, Assistant Medical Director at Verisite. I'm Anug Vora, and the goal of this video is to review basic ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration of the thyroid, focusing on proper technique and avoiding common errors. Before you get started, check that you have all the necessary supplies and have them accessible to you when performing the procedure. You'll need the following items. A firma requisition form, cytolite solution tubes or slide holders for cytopathology, FNA protect collection tubes for the gene expression classifier, nodule baggies, and patient-specific foil pouches. You will also need needles and syringes ultrasound probe cover, ultrasound gel, antiseptic solution, and alcohol swabs. Preparing for the procedure. Basic thyroid ultrasound anatomy. The thyroid can be visualized in transverse or longitudinal planes. The following structures are readily identifiable in the transverse plane. This includes the right lobe, the left lobe, isthmus, trachea, esophagus, right and left carotid arteries, longus coli, and sternocleidomastoid muscles. Patient and physician positioning. Place the patient in a supine position with the neck slightly extended. A pillow, if used, should not be placed under the head, which actually flexes the neck and limits exposure to the thyroid area. Instead, the pillow should be placed under the patient's shoulder which extends the neck and allows full access to the area of interest. It is preferable to stand to the patient's side rather than the patient's head. The ultrasound machine can then be placed across from you. This position allows visualization of the ultrasound screen directly without turning your head and allows your hand movements to directly follow what is on the screen. The ultrasound machine has wheels and should be moved to the proper position. Anesthesia. In most cases, we recommend local anesthesia during the FNA biopsy as four separate passes are required for the Affirma solution. Anesthesia ensures patient comfort and more importantly, cooperation during the procedure, increasing the likelihood of success. Both anesthesia, as well as vasoconstriction, can be achieved with 1% lidocaine hydrochloride with epinephrine solution injected into the skin and superficial subcutaneous tissue. The added epinephrine produces blanching of the skin, which allows visual confirmation of the site that is already anesthetized, essential for the subsequent passes. Performing the procedure. Identify and measure the nodule in three dimensions. Be sure to use settings that will result in optimal images. Most current ultrasound machines may have a preset thyroid setting. Assess for nodule vascularity with color or power Doppler. There are two ways to insert the needle into the nodule, parallel and perpendicular. In the parallel approach, the needle is introduced parallel to the long axis of the ultrasound transducer. In the perpendicular approach, the needle is introduced perpendicular to the long axis of the transducer. When the needle is introduced perpendicular to the transducer, only a portion of the needle is visible. When the needle is introduced parallel to the ultrasound transducer, the entire needle remains visible throughout the procedure. Though both techniques can be utilized to obtain a FNA sample, we recommend the parallel approach since it's safer for the patient and reassures the physician that they have sampled the nodule in the area of concern. If the needle is not visualized when performing the FNA procedure, 
remember to reposition the transducer rather than the needle to see the image on the screen. Use a 25 or 27 gauge needle for most thyroid FNAs. Larger needles paradoxically increase the chances of a non-diagnostic specimen, since the larger diameter leads to dilution by excess blood. Most experts recommend starting with the needle-only technique for solid non-cystic nodules to avoid excess bleeding. One can always perform the procedure with aspiration on subsequent passes, if unsuccessful. Advance the needle into the nodule and move it back and forth. Do not apply suction. Move the needle in the nodule for three to five seconds. Move the needle back and forth three times per second to get the most cells and the least blood. Put the sample in the sample collection tube. Use the aspiration technique in circumstances where non-aspiration produces inadequate samples or for cystic lesions. It is recommended that you utilize an aspiration gun to allow more control during the procedure. Advance the needle tip into the nodule and pull back on the syringe to apply suction of about two to three cc's. Maintain suction as you move the needle back and forth three times per second to get the most cells and the least blood. Gently release the suction and remove the needle. Put the sample in the collection tube. Tips for performing a successful ultrasound-guided fine needle aspiration biopsy. Knowledge of normal and abnormal thyroid ultrasound anatomy is essential. Position yourself and your patient correctly. Utilize anesthesia to keep your patients comfortable. Use the correct approach and technique for the given nodule. And transfer the FNA sample to the collection vials yourself rather than an assistant to avoid loss and degradation of the sample. This is an important point and worth mentioning again as many samples are lost at this point due to the delay in transfer. I hope you found this video useful. Keep in mind that placing the needle into a nodule is not difficult, but obtaining a diagnostically useful sample requires us to focus on multiple and sometimes subtle details. Feel free to contact us with any questions. Thank you.